Okay, the uh, principal on a car loan after n months satisfies the following properties. The loan is initially for $10,000. The interest rate per month is 1.6%. That sounds like a good deal, but that's the interest rate per month as opposed to per year. And we're gonna pay $250 a month um, on the car loan. So let's uh, do this and let's see what the principal will be after 12 months. Okay, so this is um, a linear recurrence relation, a sub n minus 1.016 a sub n minus 1 equals negative 250. So that is the linear recurrence relation. It is a first order linear recurrence relation. It has constant coefficients. And also we see that it is non-homogeneous because the right hand side is not equal to zero. So first things first, let's figure out the solution for the homogeneous equation, where I just simply replace the right hand side by zero and solve. Well, the characteristic equation will be very simple. It'll be r minus 1.016 equals zero. And solving for r, we find that if the one root is 1.016. And so the homogeneous solution, and I should have used h's for homogeneous, the homogeneous solution will just simply be some constant times 1.016 to the nth power. And this solution makes sense when you think about it. This means h sub n is equal to 1.016 h sub n minus 1 which means that it's basically geometric. There is a common ratio, 1.016. I multiplied the previous term by this to get the next term, so it's geometric, and so this has the form of a geometric sequence. So there's my homogeneous solution. The uh, geometric uh, observation there was just a, a side. You can use the characteristic equation as before. Okay, now to solve this non-homogeneous solution, I have to find a particular solution. Now the right hand side is a constant. So I'm going to find the particular solution. And the right hand side is simply a constant. So let's try to solve this by using a constant. And I'll use the letter K because I've already used the letter C up here. So P sub n is a constant. And also this thing will also be the same constant. It does not depend on n. So there's no n dependence on this, and so it doesn't matter what the subscript is, it'll be the same constant. Okay, now I have an equation for k, so negative 0.016k equals negative 250. And so uh, dividing, we find that k is equal to 15,625. So I combine these two things to form my general solution. So the general solution is going to be a sub n is equal to the solution for the homogeneous case plus the particular solution I just found, which is going to be the constant, which I've not solved for yet, times n plus 15,625. So the only thing that's left is figuring out what this constant is. So I will use the initial condition to figure out what this constant is. And it's important to uh, remind you that I only solve for C for this initial condition after I've gotten K. So I don't solve for C up here when I do the homogeneous case. I figure out the particular solution, I form the general solution, then I figure out C and use the initial conditions. Now the initial condition was when a sub zero. So plugging in zero, I get c times 1.016 to the zero plus 15,625. And the initial condition in the problem is that a sub zero is supposed to be equal to 10,000. So 10,000 equals c times one plus 15,625 
And so solving for C, we find that C is equal to negative 5,625. And so there's our general solution. Uh, A sub n will be equal to negative 5,625. There's my C. Sorry, there's my C times 1.016 to the nth power plus 15,625. So the question asks for the value of a sub 12, negative 5,625 times 1.016 to the 12th plus 15,625. And that's approximately equal to $8,819.70. So the car loan was initially for $10,000. After one year of payments, the principal has been reduced to about $8,800. Now notice something. Now the problem is done, so we could stop here. I, I want to point out something here, which is uh, kind of important for any kind of loan that you might take in the future. Notice that we paid $250 a month. That's how much we're paying per month. So $250 a month times 12 months. So in one year, we have paid $3,000 toward the loan. However, the principal did not go from $10,000 to $7,000. It went to a whole thing that's a whole lot less. That's because a lot of the money that you're paying is paying off the interest as opposed to paying the principal down. And so uh, in these early stages of the loan, uh, the payments that are being made are not whittling down the principal very much. So I'd encourage you, if you want to play around with this, just simply plot this function and uh, see what the graph looks like. It's going to look something like this. So not that flat at the start. So it's going to look something like this. So it's going to decline very slowly at the start. Here's $10,000. It'll eventually hit zero but the rate at which the loan is paid off is slowest at the start of the loan and fastest near the time when it gets paid off in full.